Let's talk about Hemicrania continua. So Hemicrania continua is a type of chronic daily headache. It appears to involve the contralateral hypothalamus and ipsilateral pons. It happens two times more commonly in women than men, and the onset is most commonly in young adulthood, although the range is fairly wide as well. For the clinical features, this is a continuous unilateral headache that has been going on for three months or more with some exacerbations in pain. The headache is typically milder intensity than the trigeminal autonomic cephalalgias, such as trigeminal neuralgia, and you can have some headache-free days as well. You must have either one of restlessness and agitation or aggravation by movement, or an ipsilateral autonomic symptom, such as conjunctival injection, lacrimation, eyelid edema, rhinorrhea, sweating, meiosis, or ptosis. So fairly similar to paroxysmal hemicrania. It's also completely responsive to endomethacin, which is also the main treatment of choice. The physical exam in hemicrania continua should be normal. For evaluation, an MRI with contrast of the brain is done to exclude secondary causes. Most commonly, these can include tumors, aneurysms, and arterial dissections. It's especially important to do the MRI brain if the physical exam is abnormal or treatment response is poor. For treatment, endomethacin both confirms the diagnosis and is therapeutic, and the headache should respond completely to endomethacin. So, start at 75 mg daily divided into three doses, and ramp up to 225 mg daily divided in three doses if no response to smaller doses. If there's no response to 225 mg daily, then the diagnosis is less likely. For treatment, use the lowest effective dose of endomethacin. So after a few months of headache freedom, weaning down or off is completely reasonable. For prognosis, remission can occur after a few months of headache freedom, although the symptoms also may reoccur after discontinuation of endomethacin so some patients will require long-term treatment.